So you want to do some work around the house and you want to be environmentally friendly, but you don't want to go all out and put solar panels on the roof. Well, we've come across a guy who's done some very simple and easy things to help you be environmentally friendly. His name is Gabe Croys, and Gabe is from Croys Architecture. Thank you very much for letting us into your home. Guys. Mike, good to see you. All right, now tell me a little bit about the ceiling here. Now the ceiling is one of the aspects that's environmentally friendly. Yeah, up here, we're using sheetrock. We put a clear coat on it before we bring it in. And this is a furring channel, which is what you use to level the ceiling. Right. So these just drop in. Now when I was done, I didn't need tape, mud, I didn't need to prime or paint this, which saves in you, I, all that, all those extra products. Saves in cost and they're not environmentally friendly. Exactly. Tell me about the walls and floors. They're also environmentally um, friendly. The walls, this is wheat board made by some, several companies and this is bamboo flooring. Both of these are cost competitive with their wood counterparts and like wood flooring. Great. Absolutely look great. Now, one of the things people don't think about in terms of environmentally friendly are space solutions. And you've come up with a great one here, and you even used an environmentally friendly product. This is Homosote. It's recycled newspaper, and it's a sliding screen. And what it does, it's, it can slide open. And behind here is our furnace and hot water heater. Um, what's great about them, they're 92 plus percent efficient. So they can be exhausted through these um, plastic pipes, which saves in space and saves in building a chimney. Fantastic. Let's take a quick look upstairs. You've done some great things up there. Now, Gabe, up here on the second floor, you've done some wonderful things with the railing. Tell me about the railing. Well, the railing's made of electrical conduit, mm -hmm. and it's a great material because it's inexpensive, and you can buy it at the hardware or electric store, and you can drill it with a regular drill. Mm -hmm. You can bend it with a conduit bender. Fantastic, and it looks great. All right, now tell me a little bit about the bathroom. The bathroom is also about space-saving solutions. Yeah, now this is something I found when I traveled in Asia. They, it's a shower room, so the shower floor extends all, to all four sides of the room, and there's a toilet and a sink in it. So it feels like a great luxury shower, but it only takes up the space right. of a toilet and a sink. Right, that's a fantastic idea. Now tell me about this creating space up here on the second floor. Well, here we had a really low ceiling with a small attic above it. So I cut away that ceiling so we could get up to the roof and I put in a skylight to bring in daylight into the space. And the idea was not to use fancy fixtures, but to put the light where you need it. So here, I, this is actually just a rain gutter with a fluorescent light in it, which shines up, hits the ceiling, and illuminates the space. The entire room. Now tell me about some of the energy efficient appliances you have here, some cool stuff there. Well, behind me is the closet. What we're using is a one-piece washer dryer. You put the clothes in, push the button, and they come out done, dry. It's a great appliance. That's right. Downstairs, we have a refrigerator freezer. It's a bottom freezer, so when you open the top, you can see your food. When you open the bottom, it has drawers, so none of the cold air spills out. The dishwasher is another amazing appliance. Okay. It's a dish drawer. It's only six to eight place settings, so it's perfect for the two people that would live here. Right, that's fantastic. And there is one more thing I want you guys to see, so come on, let's check it out. All right, Gabe, this is great. Now tell me what you did with the downspout system. Well, this is just a regular metal downspout. The key thing that we did was instead of dumping it all onto the ground and into the bay, we ran it into this planter here, and it's gonna water a peach tree and hopefully give us lots of fruit. All right, well, Gabe, thank you very much. And it also creates a little beauty in an urban environment. So, if you wanna be environmentally friendly, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You just gotta think a little bit outside the box.